Greetings friends, Steven here. Welcome to Gamer Hall episode 32. This is of course my very own video games and more pickup series. Today's backdrop item, it's freaking BMO, yes! This is a bag, I found at HMV just today. It sells for $4.99 and it's just a bag. That's all it is. It's pretty cool. I, I walked by it uh, when I was on a break at the mall and I was like, yeah, yeah, BMO bag. I, I can live with this. And uh, that's all it does. <laughs> so uh, once again, we've got a whole bunch of odds and ends to look over. Uh, this is probably going to be mostly NES games and quite a few books and magazines. So let's get started. Uh, first item is something I should have shown off in Gamer Hall episode 31, but it completely slipped my mind. It is the Skylander Swap Force Brady Game Signature Series Guide. Uh, there is also a uh, collector's version that is a hardcover, but that's something like $15 more, and I was like, yeah, I probably don't need that. Uh, this is uh, $19.99. And it's your basic, uh, you get to see all the different character attacks, which is actually pretty useful, especially if you are trying to decide if you want to actually buy the characters. Because buying them all gets awfully expensive. And of course you get your actual game walkthrough and find where all the hidden items are and all of that good stuff. Normally I don't buy these, but you know how it is. So it's, yeah, just a fun purchase. Skyliner Swap Force. I haven't even opened this yet. I feel so guilty about that. Uh, I don't know. I just... I will get to it. I will get to it. I will play this game. Uh, next up... Uh, I had a double copy of the game Lightning Force on the Genesis, and I traded that for actually four games. So let's take a look at those four games. Now you know me, I'm, I'm actually trying to stop getting the uh, less than amazing games, but uh, I still have some less than amazing games to show off now. Starting with Dr. Chaos by FCI. I've heard mixed opinions on this. Some people really like the game, some don't. I haven't played it yet. I, uh, I'm not going to try it out though. This game will always be remembered by me as the one that was always in the... There was always an advertisement for it in comic books back in my day. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to trying it. Yeah, as always, I'm always thinking of making a video of these games. Uh, next up, uh, Rescue the Embassy Mission by Kemko and Seika. Apparently this is just a one level game, which is pretty interesting. I think you can beat the whole thing in like six minutes. Uh, the, the idea is that you can do it, uh, do it in many different ways, so it's kind of like playing a level from uh, the Hitman games, I guess. But this is just um, just a Nintendo game, so I guess that was, uh, that was the whole idea of it back then. Seems like you'd want more in your game, but I guess if you enjoy that one level and you want to keep trying and seeing uh, the different ways you can beat it, there it is. Next up, Top Gun, the second mission by Konami. This uh, like super impulse purchase. Uh, they, I was actually talking to a guy on Twitter who was showing me the uh, original Famicom version, and I was like, man, that's a pretty cool uh, box art. And then I saw it at a store, and I was like, yeah, you know what? Sure. Pretty intense picture. I'm not even quite sure what's happening there, but, uh, you know, might be cool. I know an uh, angry video game nerd did a video on the original Top Gun. Made it look pretty awful. Hopefully this one is a bit better. I don't know. I haven't tried it yet. And the last one I got in this specific uh, trip that I made was uh, Chuck Rock 2, Son of Chuck, for the Genesis. I think in the last episode, was it the last one? Uh, I showed off uh, Chuck Rock 1, so now I've got the second one as well. These are fun games. Uh, the art looks very nice, and uh, yeah, we'll see. We will see if that is any good. I'm sure it's pretty good. Next up, I am going to move this out of the way because we have a few more uh, bigger books to look at. Starting with a book that is surprisingly reasonably priced. Normally, these art books are pretty expensive. But this is the 30th anniversary Capcom character encyclopedia featuring 200 plus characters from Capcom games. Look, sixteen ninety nine. That's pretty good. Normally these things are like sixty bucks or something crazy like that. This is much more affordable. 
And it's a pretty neat book too. So as you can see, it just goes through the whole history of Capcom. I don't know if every single Capcom game is shown in here, but uh, you can see there's quite a few to, to uh, peruse. Yeah, pretty cool. Definitely worth the price there, I think. Hmm, yeah. And I will follow that up with... Uh, there's, I want to say, two different retro gaming themed magazines. And normally I don't buy them, but this one, like, uh, unfortunately, is $24.99, which is more <laughs> than this thing was. Go figure. But uh, I really enjoyed... I was looking through this at... Maybe it was Chapters or something. And uh, there's just too many good articles to pass up. Like, there's this one part here where they talk about the many, many old-school wrestling games, which I thought was pretty neat. And odds and ends. So many different articles to read through. Pretty cool stuff. Now, like I said, this was a retro gaming magazine, so this is a new magazine. It just talks about mostly about uh, older games, which is kind of right up my alley. Normally, I don't want to spend 25 bucks for a magazine, but yeah, you know, you know. Uh, what is this? I don't know. I'll have to read through that. Cool, cool, cool. This is actually just probably the thing that made me want to buy it the most. Is this uh? Aliens game retrospective, which is uh, very cool. Man, I love some uh, pixel aliens art. Good stuff, good stuff. Yeah. So, like I said, kind of expensive, but uh, retro. What is this called? Retro Volume 6, the ultimate retro companion from games. Pretty, pretty neat uh, magazine. Yeah. Looks like Bimo's about to fall over. There we go. He doesn't want the weight on him. I understand, Bimo. I understand. Alright. Next up, um a Skylander I picked up. This is Fire Kraken. He has been released in stores, so to speak. Now, like I said earlier, I haven't even opened the game yet, but uh, that doesn't mean I can't enjoy the figures themselves. And I will play the game. I might even start it up right after this video. We'll see. But look at this guy. He's like a Chinese dragon. He's uh, he's actually not standing. He's uh, got himself up by the tail there. And apparently his power is bouncing. So I guess he bounces on his tail. Pretty cool design. Put that there. And those are, I think, the uh, the swap characters are like fourteen ninety nine, which is about the same price as the uh, last year's Giants kind of figures. There's a little size comparison there for you. Hmm. Thank you, Ninjini. Uh, next up, okay, okay. Uh, I got uh, these three games for thirty dollars. If I can figure out where I put them. Oh, there we are. They're hiding. Now, I was going off on uh, Twitter about uh, finally having Battletoads, saying that it, it's kind of a must-have game for any retro game collector. And I was wondering for the longest time, why didn't I own a copy of Battletoads? And that's actually because I have the Genesis version of Battletoads, and I completely forgot about that when I bought this. This was a $25 game, although with this, I also got... Uh, I got Mylon Secret Castle, the Game Boy version. Special shout out to uh, the Retro Rampage because I know they love their Mylon Secret Castle. And I also got Bonk's Revenge. This is a kind of a rare game. I was surprised to get it and just see it in this huge bin of uh, original Game Boy games that I was perusing through to find these two. And I got all three of these for 30 bucks. So that's not too bad. This really is a must own game though. I'm sorry, but if you don't have it, get it. That's all I gotta say. If not this one, you know, get the Genesis one. It's good too. Next up, I've got... Um, this was recently recommended to me. It is uh, Pack in Time by Namco. It's a side-scrolling Pac-Man game uh, on the Super Nintendo. I didn't even know about this. 
Like, I'm sure I've walked by this specific cart a few hundred times and just never really looked at it. It's like, whatever, it's just a random Pac-Man game. I always thought this was the puzzle game, but this is actually a side-scrolling game. And Pac-Man gets, like, a rope, and then you can swing around Bionic Commando style, and you can do sick flips and all that. It looks like a lot of fun. So, I got that one for 10 bucks. Uh, next up. Oh, sweet. This I picked up at my local value village for a dollar. Yeah, Dragon Warrior Monsters 2, Kobe's Journey and Tara's Adventure, the strategy guide. Pretty sweet for a dollar. It's actually not a very big strategy guide, so I guess it's not uh, the longest game out there. But, uh, yeah. These are worth it alone, easily, just for the art. Box slime. I've never even seen this one anywhere else. And you guys know I love my Dragon Quest. Uh, it saddens me that we don't have any of those 3DS Dragon Quest games, but who knows? We'll see. Maybe someday uh, Nintendo will come around and uh, help distribute those games. Yeah, pretty, uh, pretty cool. Got that for a whole buck. Not too shabby. Yeah, I actually saw the cart of one of these uh, just recently, but it's sold to the next time I went back for it. Uh, I'm pretty sure I have it already, though. Uh, either Kobe or Tara's Adventure. I can't remember, though. I was like, well, maybe I'll buy it next time, and it was gone next time, but whatever. That's fine. That's fine. I am certainly no lack of games. Um, okay, this is fun. Got this at Walmart. Look! Goomba Took. Yeah, that's funny. These are 10 bucks. Um, it's got the little uh, dongle things and the ear covers on it. Uh, these uh, sell for 10 bucks. They also had a neat uh, Domo Kun Took, but that one was, uh, I think, meant for kids' heads because uh, it was kind of tight to put on. This fits pretty well though, so I might, uh, might just wear this from time to time. Pretty fun item. Next up, oh yeah, this I just got the other day, a few days ago, two, no, yesterday, not oh, whatever. Uh, for a whole 20 bucks I got the next three games, starting with a very crisp and mint Royal Rumble for the Sega Genesis. Look, it's got, uh, of course it's got the game and the book, all in pretty good shape, and it's even got the little extra flyer thingies. And a poster. Let's take a look at this poster really quick. Careful, careful, careful. It's so crispy and new. I don't want to touch it. So yeah, you get the idea. Cool. Alien 3. Spoiler alert, we're going to be playing Alien 3 really soon in uh, Game Starts. Look forward to that. We will play the Super Nintendo version because it is awesome and I haven't played it in forever. And I will show you the intro because the intro is really creepy. But that's uh, another video for another time. For today we're checking out Royal Rumble. And the, the game after this one I think was better, uh, which was WWF Raw, but this one was pretty good too. It's fun to see what wrestlers they have uh, in the game back then. You get your Pop Shango, you get your IRS. Yeah. Q. And uh, like I said, I got three games for 20 bucks. The next game, Rampart by Jellico. Um, pretty hard game to find, actually. Something in there. I will clean that out. Shouldn't be a problem. And the other game I got, uh, Rad Racer 2. Uh, this uh, is by made by Square, which is pretty funny because uh, they, of course, are known mostly for RPGs nowadays. But uh, special uh, shout out to Will from Max Impact because uh, he was recently discussing this game. He was saying that apparently uh, when it has music playing that there is no actual car sounds. And then I asked him, well, what if you turn the music off? Will the car sounds come back? And he wasn't sure. So I'll find out. We'll see. And next up... Oh, what do you know? I picked up one more Skylander! It's Scorp! Looks pretty cool. He's got a scorpion too. 
And these claws kind of look like uh, lacrosse uh, sticks or whatever you call them. Now since it's about the City B games, they have a big sticker over the uh, the picture here, which kind of bugs me because they do save these backs, just because I dig the art. Um, I think that'll peel off pretty easily though. Oh, yep, I really, really gotta open this game and play it because uh, I get the figures. I like the figures, but I do want to actually play the game too. I'll get to it. I'll get to it. Give me, give me a break. And. This I got for seven dollars, which is I guess a reasonable price. It is Nintendo Power. Like they went twenty bucks for this originally. That's that's a bit nuts. Uh, volume forty-two. There you go. As you can see, the spine is a bit bent in that one spot, but it's okay. Just take a quick look through here. There's a lot of magazines in this episode. That's cool. Joan Mac, the NES version. Crash in the Boys Street Challenge. That game looks like a lot of fun. Original Mega Man for some reason. I don't know if this just came out when Original Mega Man came out. Yeah, I don't know. November issue 42. I don't see a year. Ah, whatever. Of course, your classic uh, tips and tricks. This has been pretty funny because I've been playing this Final Commando game on my 3DS. Good game, highly recommended. It's one of the issues where they have comics, which is pretty neat. Flintstones, Track and Field, it's a second comic. Some Star Wars stuff. Final Fantasy Mystic Quest, sure, sure. Super Star Wars. Take a quick look at the poster. Poster, poster, poster. It's Batman! I'm Batman! Batman Returns coming soon for your, for your NES and Super NES from Konami. I don't recall there ever being a Batman Returns on the NES. Maybe it's that Return of the Joker one. That game is okay. The first one was better. Got some shmups. Space Megaforce. Great game. Axley, also a great game, which I don't have in my collection just yet. And of course, top 20, blah blah blah. Another comic, some quick reviews. Coming soon games, and these weird trading card things that no one ever actually punched out and uh, traded. Yeah, pretty cool. I love these things. And, um, I'm actually pretty much done here. Uh, the BMO thing, like I said, I just got today, that was five bucks. And the last two things I got, which also were five dollars each, were a couple Wii games. Showing off Zack and Wiki Quest for Barbarossa's Treasure by Capcom. I actually had this game already, and I knew I had it already, but look. It's only four fifty. How could I pass that up? So, I don't know, I'll see if this copy is better than the one I have already, and I will probably just trade out the second one. It'd be a good gift if I knew someone, I guess I know people with Wii's still. This would be a good uh, Christmas gift to give along, because apparently this is a really great game. And finally, uh, Namco Museum Remix, 14 games in all. This is actually based, it's a port kind of, of uh, I think it was a DS game. And yeah, I love uh, classic Namco games, and I'll certainly try these remixes out. Looks like fun. Cool. Alright dudes, I guess that about does it for Gamer Hall episode 32. So once again, thanks so much for watching. And um, like, favorite, subscribe to the channel, you know all that stuff. Uh, like I said, we will do more Game Start episodes. And um, what else is coming up? <sighs> not too much I guess um, there is a new well there is a retro gaming store in town that is actually renovating and I was going to get some footage of that tonight but they weren't quite ready for anything to show just yet but uh, maybe we might get some footage of that place pretty soon otherwise yeah that's it so once again thanks for watching have a good day